Hey, my Geminis, Danny Moon here. Danny Moon, pole girl, Karen, whatever you want to call me. Um, <clears throat> I just finished doing uh, the reading for Tauruses, so I cleared the energy out, and now I ask Spirit to bring me uh, the Gemini energy for the collective so let's get right into it thank you spirit and um let's see what's going on i haven't used this deck in a while so let's see what comes out for you um i also was telling um taurus collective that you know, I'm starting to do like automatic writing and that's when you get like really fast downloads from spirit, whether if they come in sentences, paragraphs, words, normally I get words, but now I'm starting to write them down. And what I got for you, this is while I was meditating and asking spirit to bring the energy in, I got the words play, two-sided, lion, not like lion, not like lion, but like the animal lion, um, struggle, battle, loyal and bitter, loyal and bitter. So let's see if any of the cards will coincide with those words. Spirit, can you please come in and give me some accurate messages for the Gemini Collective? Thank you, Spirit. That's crazy. Um, Taurus just got that. Okay, did they get that too? King of Cups. Oh, they got King of Swords. Um, yeah, they got that card. So, um, Spirit, can you come in and bring me the Gemini Collective? Bring me the energy of the Gemini Collective. Spirit guides, angels. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Mm. They also got this card too. Wow. And this is a totally different deck. So totally different deck. Different spread, different everything. Wow. Spirit, can I get three more cards for the collective, please, of Gemini? Accurate messages, please, so they can apply it to their lives. Please, can I get some accurate messages for... Thank you, Spirit. Too many, too many. Spirit, can I get some accurate messages for the Gemini Collective? Thank you, Spirit. Wow, your cards are just flying out. Gemini flying out. That is so good. So good, so good, so good. Because you know I only have 33 minutes. <laughs> you know my camera, my phone doesn't be playing with me. When they say 33, they cut off at 33 too. So maybe 33, 4. But Spirit, can you please give me some more? Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Can you give me some more cards for the Gemini Collective? Thank you, Spirit. All right, all right, I think that's enough. Spirit, can I get some energy cards, please? For, ooh, thank you, Spirit, for the Gemini Collective. Now, you did get this in, this came out in reverse. I was about to turn it up, upright, but this particular Oracle deck, they do reversals. So, Spirit, can I please get another, and thank you, Spirit. Ooh, and this one came out upright. So that's excellent. Mm. I don't know what else I want to... Um. Okay, let's just start off with these right here. Um, 
Sorry, y'all. See, for the Taurus Collective and for the other Zodiac signs, I try to do lay the cards out first so that I have time, you know, because of my phone and the time that I have, so that I have time to explain the card to you. And I like to go through the book so that I can have it all laid out. But I just... Honestly, I just got out of the one energy and I asked spirit for the next energy. So, um, I didn't have time to do any of that. All right. You got the world in reverse. Oh, let me pull out my little match. Um, receiving the world reverse means that you're, that you've been severely limiting your view of things. You're thinking too narrowly, narrowly, either in your options for action or in what you feel you deserve. You may be feeling, you may be feeling boxed in by old ways of doing things. Not quite sure of how to expand. This card calls for you to think creatively outside the box. You find yourself in, outside the box you find yourself in now. So there's more, but basically they're saying like, you know, the world card is you have the whole world in your hands. The world card is like in the tarot deck means greatness, you know, success, per, um, prosperity, abundance. When you get it in the reverse for this particular deck means that you're holding yourself back. Um, you're thinking too narrow. You're thinking right within your box and spirit is trying to tell you to open up and think about things outside the box. That's that also saying, don't be fearful don't be fearful to think outside the box. I tell everyone who comes to my channel, at least, to be a new tarotist and for my subscriptions to be going up. God wants me here. God wants me to put these messages out. So for you to come here, you are divinely guided. I tell every sign that every time I upload. So please understand, if you step outside your comfort zone, outside of your box, things will move for you. You. Things will be great. You will be guided to the right path or guided on your path. You don't have to worry. Shake that fear. Your next card is the community card, which is like the three of cups card in the tarot, which is community, like it says, collaboration at work, working with other people, working on your projects with other people, whether it's two people or three people, you have a community of people around you who want to work with you or celebrate you. Number seven. Okay. This card shows three women celebrating, sharing ideas, and supportive energy. The lights in the picture represent your... The lights in the picture represents... Represents your spirit community as well. And I'm about to tell you about that. Because people think in order to have a community or people around you that it has to be here in this life. Mm -mm, you are divinely guided. Okay, remember that. That's your community too. This card appears upright. It indicates an association of some kind. It may be a casual connection of like-minded people joining a club or community of some sort or even a business partnership consisting of three or more entities. The time is right to make such new connections and to share intentions. Networking and community are important parts of human experience and the, and the security and sense of connection can be 
beneficial to all. So there's more, but I'm not going to go on. Um, I think that was very clear. Um, but what I was saying is that um, you can have a spiritual, a spiritual community as well. Um, people who have passed on, your ancestors, your loved ones are still around you. They're your community too. You need to go within. I tell you that all the time. I know y'all tired of hearing about it. Meditate. Talk to your higher self, which is talking to God. Um, your community is around you. They will hear you. Your community is also your spirit guides. So please understand, if you ask for something, you will receive it. You have to take action, though. Spirit is trying to tell you. Spirit is telling you with this world card reverse. That you, if you want something, you're going to have to think outside the box or you're going to be in your box, the same box for how long? A lifetime? Who wants that? You know what I'm saying? And then look at how the two cards coincide. Spirit is trying to say, think outside the box. Get a community of friends, co-workers, families, people that um, will help you build whatever you're trying to build. Uh, whatever it may be, with job, with your kids, with an idea, creativity, spirit is saying, get with a crew, get with, get with a community of people that you like and love and adore, and you can, you can get this card upright. Um, your first card out of the deck was King of Cups. Now that all the kings in the decks are, have, much clarity okay much 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 clarity that's why they are kings king of cups though he leads by his emotions and some, sometimes that isn't good but because he's a king he has his emotions in check he steps back he looks at a different perspective um, of the people that he loves around him. He loves his community. He loves his friends. He loves his family. So the disclaimer is this could be your energy or somebody around you. This could be like a father figure around you, a pastor, a wise man, somebody who is coming with a lot of wisdom, a lot of clarity, and a lot of love, um, a lot of love, you know? Um, and he's, he takes care of the people that he loves. The second card you got in the deck was seven of wands, which the Taurus people, um, got this card too. the Taurus people, the Taurus collective got this card too. So just like I told them, you see how this woman is on top. She won. She's defending herself. This card is the defense card. Okay, the only thing I tell you, and this is a good card, and the reason why it's good is because she went through so many battles. You see all the wands? She went through so many people, so many battles to end up on top from just defending herself. The only thing I tell people with that card is before you defend yourself, Think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. You never want to burn a bridge. You never want to defend yourself so hard where people where people around you get hurt. You, you always want to defend yourself with respect, dignity, and receipts. And what I told the Taurus Collective is that receipts means facts. Always have facts like, oh, look, I wrote it down on this day. Oh, look, I have heard it, boom, boom, boom. Never come off with an attitude either. You know, you can still defend yourself and get your point across clearly with doing it respectfully. Um, your next card is Five of Swords. Five of Swords is about winning a battle. Like, and it correspond it corresponds with this card. So if you're in some type of battle where you're defending yourself, this five of swords means you will do anything to win, anything necessary, even hurt the people you love. So once again, with defending yourself, make sure you do it properly. If you have any conflict around you at work or at home, articulate yourself 
well enough so that people will stop and listen to you and you can um, get your point across. So it won't be so much like a defense mecha mechanism or like a, a, like a winning or stealing of swords. You see the people in the background, they're upset. These was your friends. These was your family, your loved ones. And all you care about is winning the battle. Don't be like that. Have a different mindset, okay? Ha know that in some battles, people get hurt. But if you choose your battles and choose your choose your conflicts, no one chooses conflicts. Conflicts come to you, but... When you choose your words, choose them wisely, walk with your head held high, and know what you're talking about. Because then, ultimately, you have to win, but you don't hurt nobody in the process. Um, your next card is the Hangman Reverse. Yes, I'm sorry, I had to put it down for a minute. Um, it was like this. No, it was like this. <laughs> Let me see. Mm, was it reversed? Yes, it was reversed. It was reversed. Sorry. Um, the hangman was reversed. Um, when the hangman is upright, this means that you are being enlightened. Spirit, God, the universe is trying to tell you something and you are listening to it. You're just hanging around. But now with it reversed, I feel like you understand what spirit is trying to tell you. You understand what God is trying to tell you. And more, more to get to the point, say if you don't believe in any of that. You have a gut feeling, and I feel like now you're starting to listen Listen to the universe. You're listening to the, your higher self. You're listening to you. You're listening to your intuition, and you're starting to move in the right way. The reason I say that is because your next card, and when I say move in the right way, I mean you're starting to make the right choices. This is why that seven of wands, you see that you're on top. Because you defended yourself the proper way. You made the right choice, okay? Um, your next card is the magician. The magician right next to the hangman reverse means you use you utilize your resources. This magician, she has the wand, she has the infinity sign, the cup, the pentacle, the sword. She's ready to take, she's ready to walk on her path because she knows whatever obstacle comes in front of her. And remember, tarot doesn't have a gender, y'all. Whatever obstacle comes in front of her, she will be able to, so to speak, break it down. Okay, she will be able to get through it any kind of way because she is the magician and she has all the tools to think quick on her feet, make the right choices, not be indecisive, um, not hurt the loved ones around her, um, picking her conflicts and her battles. She knows what to do. The next card you got is Eight of Swords. Now, this isn't a good sign. This isn't a, the greatest card because this means you're trapped in your mind. Um, but because you had the magician right before this, that means you are trapping yourself. No one's trapping you. Spirit's not trapping you. Um, whatever further ideas you have or plans you have, um, nothing is stopping you. Nothing is making you stay this way. There's no knots in this rope. There's no, um, that blindfold is one tie. You're able to wiggle out of these ropes and take that blindfold off. Um, but you choose not to. Um, and I don't understand why you choose not to because you are the magician. You can get out of anything you want. So basically, Geminis, if you are in the middle of something right now, whether it's with your love life or with your work life, 
Spirit is trying to say, get out of your mind. This is a this is a mind card. Like your mind is playing tricks on you. You're having bad thoughts. Like so you 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 feel trapped because of your mind. But it's your mind. You have the ability and the resources to get untrapped. You have the resources not to feel that way. Your next card is Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is study. You're a student. You're working. You're learning. Um, you're working hard too. you this Eight of Pentacles is all about working really hard. But you could be working hard at your job. You can be a student taking something up. Whatever it is in your life, you're working really hard at it and it's paying off because it's eight of pentacles. Um, your next card is, and don't don't feel no type of way about it, is the tower. Um, and the tower means destructive energy. This means that whether it was 30, 30 days before this reading or 30 days coming up, because that's what energy does. Energy is fluent and it fluctuates. So this is a tower meaning like there's destructive energy around you. Something is about to, I don't want to say devastate you, but something is coming down. Something is about to be destroyed or taken away in your life from spirit, from the divine, from God, your God, from source, from the universe. But what they want to show you in this, what they're trying to predict in this, in this um, illustration is, the fire is in the building, okay? Um, but the building, the foundation is still standing. So whatever you go through, you can rebuild. You will, you will, um, rebuild and you will rebuild stronger and better because you are the ma magician and because you know how to defend yourself the right way because you decided to get out of your mind okay because you are enlightened and you decided that you was going to listen to spirit listen to your intuition so whatever you because I feel like maybe Gemini you might be going through something right now and maybe maybe Everything in your life is fine, but maybe one area you're having some issues at. Um, but these, all of these cards are saying, these cards are more talking about you than, than talking about like spirit or God or anything else. These cards are saying, like the world in reverse is saying you need to get out of the box, out of your comfort zone. The hangman in reverse is saying you're enlightened. Spirit already told you what to do. Your intuition is telling you what to do, but you're fearful. You don't want to move forward. Um, the eight of swords is saying like you feel trapped. Because of what? Fear, like I just said. Um, you're the magician. Spirit is saying, I'm giving you all the tools, all the resources. They're right up under your nose, but you don't want to see it because you're comfortable where you're at. Spirit is saying, if you don't do it, I'm going to do it for you. If you don't get out of this comfort zone, I'm going to remove you from this comfort zone. And I'm going to make you step out of the box on whatever it is because you are divinely guided and you don't have to worry. The next card that you got and your last card is the emperor. Another thing, another card, another piece of energy that spirit is trying to say the, the emperor is one of the strongest men in the deck. They're higher than the king. They have structure. They are strong. They are have clarity. Um, they're moving forward. They take action. Most of all, the emperor 
says something and they do it. They take action. So spirit is trying to tell you, you need to take some type of action somewhere in your life. The energy that I am getting right now, everybody, I feel like overall, your life is kind of okay. You're working, you're learning, um, your love life, uh, you know what I'm saying? But there is some area and it could be different for different um, Gemini's out there. There's some area that you need to clean up. Okay, so this wasn't a bad reading. It was just more of a um, spirit trying to tell you about you and spirit trying to say, I'm here. I'm going to help you. I'm giving you the tools so that you can help yourself. Okay, so please take action. Please, please, please. Spirit, can you give me? Thank you, spirit. Two. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Queen of Swords. Look at that. Oh, man. Spirit is trying to tell you, you can move forward. Look at her. She doesn't look like a weak a weak person at all. Her head is not in the clouds. She has clarity just like the emperor. She knows exactly what she wants to do and where she wants to go. Then look at once you once you embody these energies that spirit is trying to tell you that there is a area not your whole life cuz normally when I give a reading there's different areas messed up for a lot of people. But with you, Gemini, I just feel like it's one area that you need to clean up before spirit comes in and cleans it up for you. <clears throat> spirit is giving you a gift, Ace of Pentacles. So this, this could be with your job. You already got two Pentacle cards. So it's telling me that it could be around work related. Okay, but, but look at what spirit is trying to give you. Ace of Pentacles is another great card to get. It's a gift from God. Basi really, this card means spirit or God or the universe is about to come in and give you a gift. Now, maybe you got something 30 days prior and you was like, wow, I can't believe I got it. Or maybe the 30 days that's coming up, you're going to get a gift and you're going to be like, where did this come from? All you got to do is look up and stay focused and say and give gratitude. Say, thank you, God, for bringing this to me because something's coming to you. You just wait and see. Something is coming to you fast. Spirit, can we elaborate on these? Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Now, I told you you got the Eight of Swords because you feel trapped in your head. <clears throat> you got Two of Swords just now. So you are definitely in your mind about something, Spirit. Um, spirit. You are definitely in your mind about something, Gemini. This card right here, the Two of Swords... Is saying like, I know what's going on. It's almost like uh, being petty. Like I know what's going on, but I'm not. I'm not letting you into my heart, and I'm not looking at it. I'm not making a decision. I'm not making a choice. Cause anything with two, anything that's two, two of cups, two of swords, two of whatever, means that there's a choice or a decision that you have to make. So just make it. Stop being this way. Because if you stay like this, it's gonna keep you like this. And you're going to stay right where you at. And spirit is going to say, I tried to tell her. I tried to tell y'all. Okay, let me get a, a oracle. What, what what deck, spirit? Please tell me what deck, what deck, what deck, what deck. Personal power deck. Personal power. <clears throat> and spirit wants to... I chose this deck because spirit spirit led me to this deck. I chose this deck because spirit led me to this deck for you to have a personal power card so that you could work on you. So you could work on you, Geminis, my collective. Spirit, can you please give the Gem Geminis um, an accurate power card, please, that they need so they can move forward? Spirit, can you please give me an accurate power card so they can move forward, please? Thank you, Spirit.
This is so crazy. I love when the cards correspond with what spirit is telling you. Spirit is telling you, you are the creator. This says, I am, I am a creator. See, she's holding her belly like she's pregnant, but this doesn't have to be for women. This means you're birthing something new, a new idea. If you get out of the box. This one right here says, I have permission. And see, this co corresponds with the cards and what, what Spirit is trying to tell you. I am here. I am here. God is here. The universe is here. They're, they're telling you, they're giving you the permission to move forward. I'll take this last one. I am a dreamer. So whatever you're dreaming about, music, uh, do-it-yourself project, doing t-shirts, making money on the side, um, moving up in a position in your job. Spirit is telling you that you are the creator of that so you can make it happen. No one else can make this happen. Only you. And spirit is saying that they have your back and they're going to allow you to give. They're going to allow you to have this. They're going to come in and give you this gift. All the cards correspond. Okay. Um, one more, one more. Ooh, you see that? Trust in divine timing. Trust in the Lord and in the divine time. And don't be impatient. Don't be impatient. Trust in divine timing. Bottom of the deck. I trust my intuition. Didn't I say that earlier about trusting your intuition? I said, if you don't believe in nothing, you believe in yourself. Higher self. You believe in your gut feeling. I trust my intuition, and it's a beautiful card. So thank you, Gemini. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think this was a good, I think this was an informative reading. Okay, so Spirit is saying, get up off your ass. Get out of that same box or that same situation you're in. You're going to have to make a decision. And Spirit also says, you know what the decision is. You already know the answer. So Spirit is saying, I'm there to catch you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just take the first step and you will be guided. That was good. That was really, really good. Taurus's wasn't, Taurus's was a lot of different energy made me all crazy. This was straight to the point. I knew exactly what spirit was trying to tell me with the words and with the cards and with the um, power deck. Um, I wish you all the luck, Gemini. Hit me up in the comments and tell me if you did step out the box. What are you trying to create? What are you trying to do? Um, or just hit me up in the comment box to say hello, okay? Um, I'm giving free um, short readings. Is um, All I ask is for you to donate to my cards. Um, you can email me at karen4dance at gmail.com. I'm sending you love and light.